from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. The calendar says it's the first today, but yesterday was a more important first for South Callaway baseball. The Bulldogs had a chance to win their first state championship against Valley Catholic High School out of St. Genevieve. It's the first year of South Callaway coach Jared Wood as well, a historic year for the South Callaway Bulldogs. Top of the fourth year in South Callaway, Smith Kemper gets things going for the Bulldogs. An RBI double makes it 1-0 South Callaway. Top of the fifth, South Callaway's Bradley Smart, a ground with a third baseman count handle. It's 2-1 South Callaway. Top of the sixth now in South Callaway's Dan Helsel hits a two-run double to right center. It's 4-1 Bulldogs. Crossing the frame into the bottom of the sixth, Valley Catholic's Tyler Litterist with an RBI single to right makes it 4-2 South Callaway. Still in the bottom of the sixth and Valley Catholic with the bases loaded and Lincoln Stoll lines out to first. Look at that catch by the Bulldogs' Jason Kimenow. In the bottom of the seventh with two outs and Valley Catholic's Justin Roth can't get it done and South Callaway wins its first state baseball championship in school history, taking the Class 2 title 4-3 over Valley Catholic and ending with a 21-5 record. Well, the feeling is indescribable. Um, you know, I'm so happy for these boys. I'm so incredibly happy. This is unbelievable, un unbelievable experience for sure. Uh, you know, it means... We want more now. Had one, not gonna stop. Yeah, every time seemed like every time we score, they would they would answer back the next inning. So we just had to we just had to keep going, keep scoring. You never knew. It's crazy. It feels crazy. Earlier in the day, the Sturgeon Bulldogs lost in the Class One third place match to Orin, nine to four. The Bulldogs ended their year with a 13 and eight mark. So the Scripps National Spelling Bee was yesterday, so here's a word for you to try. Scintillating. Definition, what the universities of Missouri and Arizona baseball have been this month. Mizzou and Arizona will square off in the NCAA regional round in Tucson tonight at 10 p.m. on ESPNU. The Tigers have won four straight games in the Big 12 tourney, while the Pac-12 champ Wildcats have won eight of their last ten. Mizzou hasn't been to the regional round since 2009. The Tiger pitching staff gave up 11 earned runs in those four games. And Mizzou will not start ace Rob Zestrizny against Arizona, but instead go with Blake Holovac. Rob pitched on short rest against Kansas, pitched on short rest against uh, uh, Texas in the Big 12 tournament through eight and a third. So we, we're, he would be throwing a four days rest if he started tomorrow, so we're going to give him another day. And hopefully it turns out we're going to have to have both of our starters pitch well anyway. So it's it's uh, we feel like it's the right thing to do for the staff and for the team. I trust his decision. He, uh, he he knows what he's doing. He knows arm care. He's he's been through it all more than I have. And uh, me as a dumb young kid, I want to throw whenever the situation arises. But he he knows when I should throw and when like it's permitted for me to throw. And he thinks it's best I get an extra day. Then it's best I get an extra day. Let's take it to the professional world. The Cardinals take on the Mets this weekend in Queens. The Cards are coming out of their first off day in three weeks. They've played 20 games in 20 days. They're a game and a half back from the Cincinnati Reds in the NL Central race. It's Carlos Beltran's first trip back to the Big Apple since being traded last season. Adam Wainwright, who struck Beltron out to end the 2006 NLCS and send the Cards to the World Series that year, will get the start today. Wainwright will duel Johan Santana. The Royals begin a three-game home stint against the Oakland A's tonight as well. Back in April, the Royals dropped two out of three games to the Athletics. They lost both games by only one run. Royals are coming off a series win against the Cleveland Indians and have won four of their past six games. Royals sit just seven games back of the AL Central Division lead. The 2-1 and one Felipe Paulino takes the mound for KC, and he will face Bartolo Colon. So combining Mizzou baseball and pro baseball together, former Mizzou pitcher Max Scherzer starting for Detroit last night against Boston. Scherzer threw six innings and struck out six batters. He allowed three earned runs on seven hits, and he got the win to improve to 5-3 and three as the Tigers topped Boston 7-3. to three. And that is all for sports. So 
Megan and Emily, now with the Cardinals playing on the East Coast starting around 6 o'clock and Mizzou playing over in the West and getting to start around 10 o'clock, I mean, this makes just for a perfect transition of, of one baseball game into the next one. And it, with the cold weather being here, it's a perfect time to stay inside. Get a TV? No kidding. And there's no need to flip. You just, you know, you just stay with baseball the whole night. You don't have to flip back and forth between games. Nice you have to, to keep get up to get the popcorn and chips and the soda. And right. The We've talked. I'm thinking about food. Yeah. <laughs> She's thinking about sports. <laughs> and when you bring the two together, how can you go wrong? Right, Perfect. Exactly. Thank you. Take a live look now over Columbia as the sun starts to come up. 5.52 is your time on your Friday. Happy almost weekend to you. We'll be right back.